Go Green Solar Solutions in Westlake Village, California has over 40 years of experience in solar electricity, battery backup, and hybrid radiant floor heating. We are your one-stop solar shop. Hi, this is Greg Johansson from Go Green Solar Solutions. Today we're going to look at the post-2007 SMA inverter and the display screen to see how much your solar electrical system is producing. To wake up your inverter's display, knock once on the inverter. The display will light up and start scrolling through the 11 different LED display screens. The first screen should be P-total and E-total. P-total is the power production in watts at any given instant. E-total is how much the system has generated in kilowatt hours over this inverter's lifetime to date. One simple way to verify the solar system performance is to write down the E-total on two consecutive cloudless sunny days at sunset. Subtract the first day's total from the second day's total and you can see how many kilowatt hours your system has produced over the 24 hour period. Here are some examples of system sizes and how many kilowatt hours they will be producing per day. If your system is within 10% of these numbers then your system is working well. Older systems will lose 1-2% to 2 per year. Another way to know how much power your solar system should be producing is by multiplying the system size by 5. That's roughly the number of kilowatt hours your system should be generating. For example, a 6 kilowatt solar system should generate roughly 30 kilowatt hours per day. The next display screen you'll see is software and the UL listing. The next screen shows the inverter's serial number and the work hours, which are the inverter's operational hours. The next display screen you'll see is software one of the new features of the SMA inverter is that it can be connected by Ethernet Category 5 or 6 cable or Wi-Fi. In this screen we can see the status of the Ethernet connection and it's NC which means not connected. Next screen shows the Wi-Fi signal's RSSI strength. You need 50% plus or 50 megabytes per second upload and download speed to operate the inverter's wireless monitoring. If you don't have the signal strength necessary we recommend a plug-in Wi-Fi booster or upgrade the Wi-Fi router to improve the signal strength for a better connection. The next screen is software updates, so is the next one. This screen shows the solar rooftop input power, the three DC solar circuits coming down from the roof, A, B, C solar circuits. Next screen shows the AC power in amps, power coming out of the AC inverter to the utility grid. All of this information and much more can be accessed through the SMA Sunny Portal online. You can set it up to receive daily, weekly, or monthly email updates on your SMA system's performance, and also be alerted to any error codes by email. This feature is very useful if you cannot easily access the physical display on the inverter. Bear in mind that this method is only available for inverters manufactured after 2007 with Wi-Fi monitoring. After your inverter is commissioned on site, the SMA website will send an SMA Sunny Portal invitation to your email so you can register and join. Be sure to check your junk or spam folder for this email. You will only have 24 hours to respond to the Sunny Portal invitation or you'll have to restart the Wi-Fi monitoring process. Once you've registered, you can go online and have access to the SMA Sunny Portal performance information about the system and all the data history for the inverter. The Sunny Portal screen will show the current PV power in watts and the status of your PV system. You can also see today's PV generated energy in watt hours. The next box on the web portal shows the CO2 avoided for the day and for the system so far. The system's kilowatt size is under the PV system's information and is labeled under WP or watts at peak. And you can see the upcoming weather in your area for the next two days. At the bottom of the page, the daily power AC output of the PV system is displayed in graph form. You can see daily, monthly, yearly, or total power production. By looking closely at these numbers, we can tell if there is shading or dirt buildup on the solar modules that could compromise the performance of the system. Remember to clean your solar modules every May and trim foliage such as trees and bushes that could shade your solar array. If your Sunny Portal stops sending you performance reports, the first thing to try is to reset your Wi-Fi router. You can also check Wi-Fi speeds at the inverter and see if the signal strength is adequate for the Wi-Fi monitoring. It may take a day or two for the website to update after you restart your router, 
don't worry, the inverters hold 30 days of system data. You should also check for error codes on the inverter display and write them down. FACBFR is a common error code that indicates the lack of AC utility power to the inverter. The most common cause is that the main electrical panel solar breaker has tripped. To reset, turn the breaker off and back on again. That often solves the problem. If you have reviewed this information and checked your breakers and inverter display and you still have an issue, write down the values on our system performance review sheet. We can email you one and then email it back to us at gj at gogreensolarsolutions.com. Be sure to include your address, give us a few days to review the form, and we'll email you about the next step.